China is spearheading the race into the vast expanse of outer space, already home to one of only two human-inhabited structures in orbit, the Tiangong Space Station. Their journey into the unknowns of space began far later than their counterparts, but the nation has made some jaw-dropping achievements, from launching their own space station to operating rovers as far as the Moon and Mars. Making massive strides, the Chinese Space Agency has revealed exciting new plans for deep space exploration, otherworldly lunar missions, and even the construction of a fresh new research station and upgrades to their existing Tiangong outpost. Not to mention, China is also upping its satellite game, promising remarkable advancements in the near future. Thanks for tuning in to Door to the Universe. If you're enjoying what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button. On Wednesday, an upgraded Tianzhou cargo spacecraft arrived at Tiangong, ready for a new mission to the orbital outpost. The spacecraft had been launched into a low Earth orbit by a long March 7th rocket from the Wenchang Satellite Launch Center before embarking on the eight-hour journey to the Tianzhou AF docking port. Boasting several improvements from its predecessors, the Tianzhou 6 spacecraft had increased pressurized volume of 22.5 cubic meters, up 20%, and higher cargo capacity of 7.4 tons, up from 6.9 tons. Plus, it weighed about 500 kilograms more at 14 tons. Loaded with 714 kilograms of science experiments, spanning everything from space life science to combustion science, the spacecraft should suffice to sustain three crew members for 280 days. The Tiangong Space Station is all set to receive its first operational mission from science experiments exploring an array of fields like space life science, biotech, microgravity, fluid physics, and combustion science, to testing space material science and application technology. But wait, the Tianzhou 6 spacecraft is carrying even more goodies minus 150 kilograms of xenon-ion thruster components and 1.7 tons of propellant most of which will go towards the upkeep of the Tiangong space station's orbit. Looks like China is all geared up to continuously occupy the station for at least 10 years. A crew of three astronauts will spend six months each on board, which paves the way for the arrival of Tianzhou 6. In November 2020, the Tianzhou 5 cargo spacecraft embarked on a remarkable voyage that will end soon. After the Xinzhou 15 spacecraft departs from Tiangong space station later this month, Tianzhou 5 will undock and redock at the station's forward towards the Xinzhou 15 crew. They have nearly completed their incredible six months mission, and they will soon pass the baton to the Xinzhou 16 astronauts, who are set to launch from the DJI Kwanzaa launch site in the Gobi Desert in the upcoming weeks. Furthermore, China's increased capacity will now allow a Tianzhou's mission every eight months, as opposed to the previous schedule of every six months. In the latest mission to space, the Long March 7th rocket was used to launch a Tianzhou cargo spacecraft. What's unique about this 53? One meter long missile is that it's designed for such tasks alone. The China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology played a part in creating the rocket, while the China Academy of Space Technology and CAST designed and manufactured the spacecraft. With bold aspirations of launching over 60 orbital flights in 2023, CIC is also planning to expand the Tiangong Space Station with a multifunctional module. In a groundbreaking achievement, an emerging Chinese company launched its first rocket fueled by an innovative substance, aviation kerosene derived from coal. Unlike traditional rocket fuel, which is extracted through a complex process from premium petroleum, this fuel provides a secure, efficient, and sustainable energy supply. Not only did this cutting-edge fuel prove to perform comparably to petroleum-based kerosene, but it also presented a potential solution for China's aerospace industry, which faces fuel scarcity. With limited oil reserves and average oil field quality, using this fuel in rocket engines provides a more viable option for space exploration. This pioneering effort is a significant achievement for space technology, opening doors to faster development and better energy sources. On Tuesday, China Space News announced an unprecedented breakthrough in the global aerospace industry. Chinese researchers developed coal-based aviation kerosene and rocket propulsion. They achieved the core formulation after years of research and made performance adjustments to propel China's next-generation carrier rockets. This research success expands fuel supply options and ensures national energy security. 
This is a remarkable achievement that is making waves in the sector. This remarkable feat was achieved through the combined efforts of China's state-owned enterprises, which included the Research Institute of the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, China Energy's coal-to-liquid chemical company, and Ningxia Coal Industry. According to one of the researchers involved, discovering a viable alternative to the unique petroleum-based aerospace kerosene had been an insurmountable challenge. However, after countless experiments, the team struck gold. They found that coal liquefaction yielded aviation kerosene that possessed completely distinct and engaging properties than kerosene. This breakthrough promises a secure, efficient, and sustainable energy supply for the aerospace industry, leveraging China's vast coal resources and the development of coal-to-liquid conversion technology. The researchers have high hopes for future applications of this innovation, including coal-based aviation kerosene. According to Quan Jun, the deputy director of the institute, years of unwavering effort have led to this achievement. The institute successfully developed coal-based aviation kerosene and established a production line with an initial annual output of 5,000 tons, which could potentially support over 30 flights by 2025. The yearly production of coal-based aviation kerosene is set to climb up to 30,000 tons after a series of meticulous testing and development procedures. Overcoming various hurdles, the pioneering research team formulated a core composition and refined performance that stood the test of more than 300 engine trials. The end result, a product on par with petroleum-based aviation kerosene. After a triumphant flight of the Tianlong-2 rocket powered by coal-based aviation kerosene, the EYF-102 liquid rocket engine on the Tianlong-2 has since become the standard powerhouse engine for China's new wave of launch vehicles. The engine series utilized in China's Long March rockets may soon run on domestically produced coal-based aerospace kerosene, paving the way for future launches that are cost-effective and Earth-friendly. On May 21st, China successfully conducted two space launches for reinforcing its base navigation system and testing science and radar technology satellites. The Juquan Satellite Launch Center witnessed the first launch with the Long March 2C rocket carrying payloads dedicated to studying Earth's magnetic field. Another satellite on board the rocket was the Blue Osea 201A, a synthetic aperture radar test satellite developed by Wuhan University. These satellites will monitor the vulnerable South Atlantic anomaly and complement the scientific observations by the European Space Agency. Satellite 1V was unleashed into space thanks to Northwestern Polytechnical University and McCall University of Science and Technology. The joint mission aims at conducting tests via multi-angle and video radar imaging. Notably, the project targets enhancing signaling and the integration of remote sensing imaging, meteorological detection, and water conservancy apps. All this as China grows its advancements in SR. With a remarkable resolution of 0.5 meters and weighing 353K, this satellite soars to a new level of satellite development. Last night, it was successfully launched at Xichang Satellite Launch Center in Southwest China at 10.49 p.m. Eastern, thanks to China Great Wall Industry Corp, CGWIC. This latest launch marked China's 56th satellite for their bay navigation and positioning system destined for orbit. It also serves as backup for the bay new system, completed just last year. By perfecting stability, message capacity, and precision, China has accomplished 19. 20 total launches for 2023, part of the country's ambition for more than 60 launches this year. If you have any interesting space topics, our team at Door to the Universe is always excited to cover them. Don't forget to subscribe for more news.